Perfect. Is there an actual antique truck? 
this whole scene even real? Is this movie real? The movie falls apart <laughs> of its own doing. Is that? I, I, they were trying to recapture Hitchcock's psycho. Uh, I didn't notice it till toward the end. They had the big twist, plot reveal. Uh, mm -hmm. Then ends up she's in a, in a mental institution chain. That's when I realized, ah, they was trying to get psycho, but it failed. Apparently, it's pretty good in France, though. That's, uh, Jerry Lewis comedy does well in France. They bombed here. <clears throat> we don't bring him up. <laughs> but I, it's worth watching one time, at least once. I wouldn't say I mean, gore. I feel like gore fast, yes, I guess. Well, if you guess, like, you know, uh, suspenseful thrillers, that kind of thing. Well, if you, if you just want to look, like, a, I enjoy watching, like, the poor movie. That's, they shot it, not intended to be shot. America. You get kind of a window into that, that culture. I would not have known France had that many cornfields. It looks like American cornfields. It really does. Well, the corn is corn. It's not going to be different colors, man. I mean, with the house, you can tell that it's a European house because all the electrical outlets. Oh, yeah. That's right. Well, you ready to move okay, on? Yeah, let's to, move on to, to the, the grabbers. To the movie you picked out here. Okay. If you like Irish people, then you will like this movie. It is basically Irish, the stereotype movie, taking place on a small island just outside of Ireland. It basically is about a an alien starfish vampire that comes down to Earth and is allergic to alcohol. So it must suck on the it drinks the people's blood. But since a lot of them are drunk, it can't. That's the only way they can stop it. It died because of alcohol. Which is a very interesting plot, I have to admit. I have never seen vampires dying from alcohol. Well, vampires would. This is, this is space alien. Imagine monster. if Nosferatu just bitchy. He's like, oh no! What was it? Ah! Well, the whole thing is a throwback <sighs> to the old creature feature B movie. Yeah. Uh, they went with the. Uh, Lesser known actors have fewer, smaller cast. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no real, like, a, you know, not a lot of set. I think if you mean fewer cast, you mean the whole island of Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, you know, they're, they spend on island in actual locations for the most part. They use some studios. But uh, their money went their to money with graphics. To special effects. Yeah. And that's very smart on their part. Because mm -hmm. that is one of the things. It, it, Special thick didn't work in this, it wouldn't have worked. No, it, it would have fallen apart. Uh, the whole thing about the movie, let's, let's, all right, the movie itself. Very it's, basic. It's we start with this young lady, and she's taking a, a ferry boat mm -hmm. from the mainland down to the island. To be a police officer. Oh, uh, no, she's taking over acting police of chief. Well, that police of chief goes out on holiday. Mm -hmm. They got one other cop. This is a raising out the college. Yeah, he wakes up off the floor, I'm after to start drinking whiskey, and he's standing there in the office. And then he's a, the, guy, the chief is explaining to the lady, oh, this is going to be your office for the next two weeks. And you're like, I'm coming, can I go there? So, well, that's pretty obvious, but I can't give you the keys. But she's like super straight-laced, uh, super rigid, uh, goes by the rules. Talk about straight legs, because he came to her apartment one day drunk. And she, and she put him, and she put it right into the drunk tank. And he woke up drunk. And, but I kind of feel like he's done that before. <laughs> well, it goes on. Um, the movie has a lot of, uh, a lot of drama, a lot of comedy. A lot of people. A lot of, a lot of people building. Light-hearted gravity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also has heart because he's explaining that his, his wife passed away and he wasn't always like that and he was straight, trying to straighten his life back out. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, when she's super straight laced and by the rules, blah, 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 they find out that alcohol in the blood is what kept killing the old man with the stick and the wool sweater found it and tried to raise her. I love a wool sweater, man. So it comes out that she, they got to get everybody in town drunk. It did take a whole lot of work to get him there. No. And she's explained to him that she never really drank. So her playing drunk was super hilarious. Uh, it could be, a lot of times when somebody plays drunk, it could be uh, more obnoxious. 
Yeah. Yeah, this is more, you know, likable, fun, <clears throat> enjoyable. Uh, doing research on the movie, one of the things when the casting was completed, the director took all the all the main players, took them to a party, encouraged them to get as drunk as they could get, filmed them while they're doing it. Then the next day, they had to go back and watch themselves while they're actually drunk. So they could imitate that being sober so they can do the, do the scene. Then that footage was destroyed. That level of method acting that really amazes me. That's a, that's a deep level of commitment. Yeah, man. It was fun. It was funny. Uh, I don't know if I'd say scary, but it had a lot of jump scares in it. <laughs> I, I mean, for the graphical wise, for, for not even being a theatrical release, I mean, it was top notch. It was limited theatrical in Europe. Oh, well, it had an ISC thing, so. That's an independent film company. Yeah. You know, in a few times. Oh, um, my funny thing is about it. Ireland, so there's no such thing as guns there. Right. So imagine trying to fight this thing off with a stick, uh, a makeshift flamethrower, oh, yeah, flare really gun. Yeah. It was hilarious, and then it, it, they end up making a the the. the Sweater guy and I had like this makeshift moonshine. Yeah, yeah. And they made him drink, and then the thing got like killed because of that. And then the ending was like really Michael Bay. They just went down there and yep. blew Ooh. it up. Yep. And like we're gonna get you drunk, and we're gonna shove you in this coal mine, and we're gonna blow it up. I was like, okay, sure, go for it. Very fun movie. Very satisfying. Yeah. I mean that. This movie it's definitely got rewatchability. So I could watch this movie every week and yeah. not and not be less than entertained. You should go watch it. Again. We, we might. So, well, yeah. so I think it's pretty obvious from this review. High attention is the first to fall in the elimination. Movie. I mean, if this was in the movie theaters, like the oh, yeah. areas, I would go watch it. I'll pay the eight dollars to go see it. If they had a midnight showing of this every Halloween, I would go every year. <laughs> dress up as the characters. I dress up as each character, including the lady character at some point. Even the alien? <laughs> oh, that's another thing. Let's, let's talk about, not the alien, but uh, dressing up as characters. You noticed uh, early on the old man, I don't even know what his name was in the movie. I don't know, I can't remember anybody. He had name, but a super great. thick Irish accent. He might have said it and I just couldn't understand it. Not that I'm throwing off on somebody else's accent. But you pointed out earlier in the movie, he's got like several layers of wool sweaters, <laughs> you know, like a flannel shirt, uh -huh. and then a jacket over top of With a wool hat. With a wool hat. <laughs> I found out during research on this one that they shot it in December and January on a little island on the side of uh, Ireland. And that was the coldest winter in that area for the last 150 years. They had these huge uh, like heaters, like you, you see like construction sites. Just surrounding the, the area where they're filming, just just to keep the snow off of the back. Mm -hmm. So him wearing the, the several layers of wool, I think he figured that one out. Well, I'm not going to do this in front of a coat, don't you be? Six sweaters. But yeah, and when you go back and watch, it, knowing that I mean it's below zero, and some of them are just wearing you know just a plain like a or we wear during the fall. Mm -hmm. You think okay, it's below zero, and they're still out there acting. I mean, that's really... I mean, especially the, the scientist guy, he was just wearing a lot of... Yeah, he's right. Like yeah. a turtleneck. But mean, he was really outside, though. That is, that's true. Uh, when, uh, <coughs> when he had to, like, study and then the thing came alive and got onto the cop's face. Oh, and yeah. And drink his blood. That was hilarious. And he started beating him, and the old man pulled out a stick and started hitting him in the face. <laughs> He was a good thing he was in that movie. He was the best he character. Was my, in he the was movie. my favorite character in the whole movie. And I was like, yes. Because he clearly didn't give a shit. No, he didn't. And there's a scene where they got the, the you know the old alien. There's various degrees of aliens. It's called yeah, this like alien tiny B. Ones. Yeah, this is like the starfish. Yeah. And scientist man is there. Please, drunk please, straight leg please. And he asks us what it did, right? And scientists go, I don't know. I mean, I, I can't tell. It's a, it's a 
new creature. I, I can't tell if it's alive or dead. Then the old man just picks it up and goes, whack! <laughs> it did. <laughs> that part had a rolling. Yes, it did. It, it was, it was, it was great. This movie is a, definitely a watch for any Halloween. Definitely special. a buy. So. And it was a clean movie too. Yeah. It? What, 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 well, they had cussing, but you couldn't understand it. <laughs> Faking through the, yeah. what we say. And, yeah. Which I'm saying faking from now on. Was it F-E-C-K-I-N? I don't know. I didn't, we'll have to watch the subtitles to see. No, it might put the American one down. But anyways, this is moving on to the next round. Round two. So, stay tuned. We'll be watching round two. Hey. Alien. Movies. We're going to have Signs, which is an M. Night Shyamalan, ain't it? Yeah. And War of the Worlds. Tom Cruise one is not the original one, but I think, I think the Tom Cruise one's not bad. All right, so, it makes well, a good we'll, we'll watch it and we'll talk about it. It makes a good So, leave down in the comments what you think that should have won. If you all seen these movies, tell us what you think about them and give us your opinion. Wait, 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 back up. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm glad you brought this up because I've been thinking about this because there's two of us, we're uh -huh. even number. When we get down to the final movie, what? If it's a tie, what are we going to do? My solution is, if it is a tie, yes, we'll leave it up to the viewers. You go down in the comments and you vote which of those two movies it's in. And then whoever gets the most votes is the one that's going to get it. Okay. Just in case, because that's the only tiebreaker we're going to have right now. Yeah, viewers, you better do your job. Do your job. Stop having us review things. Do review it and just go with it. So. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, pick up this movie wherever your local video store is. And I'm Nick. Goodbye, everybody.